Hey everyone, it's Shub. I'm back on Black Ops 6. Listen, I had way too much fun last time, and I believe this is going to be like the final update of Weekend 1. They ended up adding the face-off mode, which is like 6v6 respawn, but on the smaller gunfight maps. This was one of my favorite modes back in Cold War, so I can't wait to play this again. I also ended up updating like some of my color settings and such. Like, I'm currently using a filter that boosts saturation, and I've changed around my HUD layout to look more like Black Ops 4, basically, and other games. Just, I want to know what you guys think about this. Because I personally like the boosted colors a lot more. Definitely reminds me of, like, BO3 Cold War. Just, I think the default color palette is just a little too washed out for my liking. It's still better than, like, any of Infinity Ward's MW titles or anything like that, but just wasn't giving me enough of fun, I guess. Oh my goodness. That guy's name is Xbox? Alright. I've actually been really loving the C9. People are saying that the Jackal is like the meta weapon, but I honestly prefer this gun. I don't understand why my game is lagging so much, but... Alright. We've got Xbox and PlayStation on the other team. That's crazy. This is definitely chaos, though. For freaking sure. Like, if you thought the default maps were kind of small... What was that guy doing? <laughs> God, I love the movement in this game. I should have just switched to my pistol. What the hell was I doing? Honestly, on these face-off maps, extended mags are an absolute must. If you don't have those, you are just not going to have enough ammo to survive. They really should have upped the score limit to 100. But to be fair, I guess the timer is a lot shorter. <laughs> the layout of this map honestly kind of reminds me of the uh, Todd Force Kill House, just a lot smaller. Hey, buddy. <laughs> With the wall bang at the end, too. Okay, alright. Little sweat boy. Oh! Well, I'm fairly certain we're gonna lose unless one of our teammates decides to clutch up. Yeah, that was kind of expected. What I kind of want to try out for the next match is the shotgun. Because the current shotgun in the beta, the Marine SP, it's pretty dookie, not gonna lie. <laughs> like, it feels like the Cold War shotguns, but those were secondaries. They were supposed to not be great, right? Hopefully they shine a little bit more on these face-off maps. Oh, this map looks small, man. So I have leveled this Marine SP up a tiny bit. It's at level nine. I'm kind of liking the look of this map a lot, not gonna lie. Oh my goodness! Oh! oh. <laughs> Omni movement on the face up maps is kind of ridiculous. You can just go crazy with the strafes. <laughs> Where's this taking me? Oh. <laughs> Bye, man. Oh. Oh! Sometimes these shotguns just feel incredibly weak. Like, there's no way that shouldn't have killed. Oh. See, that killed. Sometimes you just go absolutely crazy, and then other times they're just the most useless things in the world. Like, a pistol would do more damage. Oh! oh! I thought those were my teammates. still not completely used to the Omni movement, but whenever I'm feeling it, I am feeling it. Like, it feels amazing. Oh, lordy. Yeah, this map feels very small to me. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that was a clean-ass triple kill. This is my third day playing the beta, and I still am really enjoying myself. Jazz out here. Oh. Oh. No! Dude, I almost got a quad feed. Victory! I am really enjoying this. Best play? Hell yeah. Boom. Oof. 
I'm surprised that's what they chose for the best play. I thought that triple kill I just got was way cleaner, but whatever. Hit him with the shh. <laughs> the little hand pad is the best part. <laughs> you know, I think I'm gonna go crazy this time around, and I'm gonna try sniping on the face-off map. That might be an awful idea, but I gotta try it. This is COD. Who gives a shit about a combat record? I honestly think Treyarch just cooked all around with this game. I cannot wait for gunfight in Weekend 2. If only I got that during the dive. Oh, dude, I could have hit a collateral. I will say, the flinch in this game is really difficult to handle. It's not disorienting like X Defiance flinch. But it is just very difficult to stay on target. And honestly, good. You gotta have some way to balance the snipers, right? Honestly, this is helping a lot with getting my shot locked on. Being in the midst of so many people. I just can't get over how satisfying the sniping is. Just so crispy. Can you jump slide in this game? Oh, you can. Gotta pop it off, not gonna lie. And we lost. That was kind of a low scoring game, not gonna lie. To be fair, there were people like me not picking up that many tags. I got best play! Oh, f yeah. <laughs> oh, I gotta see this. Bop! Bop! Oh, this felt clean whenever I hit it. That didn't. Headshot. And finishing it out with the quad. Yes! Oh my god. I went 27 and 15, so like, yeah, 1.8 KD. No, that wasn't awful. 4,000 score on the dot. Treyarch just makes the best Call of Duty games. Like, there's no other way around it. And now that they've had time to make this game, a whole four ass years, it's really freaking amazing. I really cannot think of a singular complaint. Besides, like, the typical crashes and stuff that happened with a beta. Even my typical skill-based matchmaking rant and stuff. I can't even comment about that because I really haven't been feeling anything super oppressive. Yeah, I think I like Gala way more than Pit. Like, Pit is fun, and it's got huge CQB potential. Like, if you liked running those SMGs and those shotguns, it will be an amazing map. But for me, Gala is much better. It feels like a smaller kill house with, for me, a better aesthetic, and it's got some type of range so snipers can actually feel kind of welcome here. was kind of clean. Oh my god. No! Why do I speak? That was about to be the cleanest clip of the video. And that's another defeat. I feel like I'm doing great. And my team, like, they're doing okay. Oh boy. This person got a best play with a sniper. Like, this has to be crazy, right? Oh, damn it. That's not a sniper. Man, I got top of the leaderboard, exactly a 1KD. Honestly, that's how I felt. <laughs> For like half of the match, I was really feeling it. And then half of the match, I was just dying left and right. Here's what I've got to say. Face-off is honestly just as good as the face-off in Cold War. Now, it's going to be amazing once there's more maps, because right now there's only two. I have nothing to say but praise. Thank you, Treyarch, for finally making a good COD game. Boy, I cannot wait for Weekend 2. Gunfight is gonna go so crazy. As always, stay positive, have confidence, utilize your passion, believe in yourself, and be yourself. See ya!